this administration today, here and now, declares unconditional war on poverty in America. We are 60 years into a war on poverty, and giving poor people money still feels new. When you are coming from poverty, you're stuck. People say to me, Mayor, what's the uh, solution to poverty? And I answer with a very simple one word answer, money. It costs money just to exist. We started with one mayor in one small city with 125 people, and now we're at 80 mayors. In the city of Providence. Austin, here in Long Beach. The city of New Orleans. I'm guaranteed income. Help me get back to work. You put a little gas in my tank, I'll show you how far I can go. It's much easier to integrate a bus than it is to guarantee an annual income, for instance, to get rid of poverty. My father called for the guaranteed income. We have to figure out how to develop the wheel in people. America has always sold this dream of there's nothing you can accomplish through our hard work, but all the hardworking people aren't getting fair wages. So America has to explain that. We live in a nation that is the richest on the planet Earth. We spend about $630 billion helping people with wealth, giving them tax breaks to create more wealth. But as soon as you start talking about giving basic income, people start asking, well, what are they gonna do with that money? Well, it's $500 toward food every month. $500 a lot of people don't think is a lot, but it is a lot to a lot of people. When you hear about how bad the government is and then they did something like this, it's like, well, makes you rethink things. I don't think we know yet if this is a moment in time or if this is a fundamental shift in the way we think about who we are as a country. I think it depends on what we do next. <laughs>